In this video, I'll show you how to convert SRT subtitles to audio in CapCut for Windows PC. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now I've got a video right here and I'll add it to the timeline. And for this video, I have some subtitles. So I'll go to text and then local captions and then click on import. And this supports SRT, LRC and ASS captions. I'll click on import. And then I've already prepared a few lines here of subtitles. Click on open. And then I'll just click on add. And the captions lyrics are displayed in default timestamp. That's good. So we can zoom in slightly. And this is what the subtitles look like. You can actually just move this here. And you can already see them here. But what I'll do, because they're still highlighted, I can, I can actually unhighlight them. And highlight them manually because they're highlighted let's say i want to give them like, like a yellow tinge right there so they've got that and then that particular preset style has a black border that's really awesome what we can also do is probably up the font size to like an eight so there we are and if we actually play this, this is what we get with the recent update on the youtube interface it's now easier than before to download so Let's assume an assumption, just separate this audio and then we delete this particular uh, audio. Uh, let's assume, and then we can actually click on this and then split. Uh, we actually delete this part because of importance to us now is just this part with the subtitles. Let's assume we did not have the audio for this. Now to convert these SRT subtitle files to audio, just highlight them again, just the subtitles, and then go to text to speech. From this section, you can choose a couple of uh, voices here. Trickster, Bestie, Jesse. Let's say start reading. It's applying text to speech. So you can actually have a listen to what is available. But what it does is that it creates the audio for you. So if you actually play this. With the recent update on that. YouTube interface before to now download easier. So the only issue I found with this is that it has a couple of uh, problems in that it doesn't do it in a seamless manner. Uh, probably uh, depends on what you're working on. Maybe if your captions or texts is a little bit spaced out, you might get better result. But uh, you can actually split and make different changes. Let's come up to here. Uh, control B or split. Let's delete this, move this back. That is a line with that. Uh, let's listen. The recent update on the YouTube interface. Let's just move this slightly. It's now easier than before. So we can actually bring this somewhere here. Easier than before to download. Hi, my YouTube name is David from. So what we can do, we can move this down slightly. Actually, it seems it's just uh, some sort of an issue. Uh, let's see. Now easier than before to. So we can actually split somewhere here. Let's actually split somewhere here. And then we can delete this one. Let's actually zoom in slightly to be able to actually see properly. We can also split somewhere here. Control B should actually control B, split this, delete, move this back. And then we can just uh, play. It's, it's now, now easier, easier than, than before, before to download, download. YouTube, YouTube transcript. So you can see what we got here. Uh, another spacing. So it's really not kind of the best, but you can try and see what works out for you. Uh, because obviously, uh, everybody has a different experience. Uh, but this is fast selection. So uh, you can keep doing that until you're satisfied with all your audio and uh, that your subtitles are aligning. With the recent update on the YouTube interface. So it looks like we might need to move this slightly somewhere there. And then bring this one somewhere there. And keep moving uh, everything as it is somewhere there. Let it line up there, and then we can actually play from here. 
update on the YouTube interface. It's now easier than before to download. Sure, you may need to tinker around with this, but simply put, that is how you can convert SRT subtitles to audio in CapCut for Windows using the text to speech feature. I hope this is of value uh, to you and obviously you can always change the time so that probably uh, it gives you maybe let's actually see if we can actually do that slightly let's see uh, see what we can do here uh, let's actually click on one and say speed if we adjust the speed what does it do so yeah you can actually adjust that to see what we get but remember obviously make it uh, something that you'd want to listen to as well. Let's actually reduce this slightly and see if we made it faster. Then before to download. Uh, my sounds a little bit better, uh, but that way you can actually make sure that it fits here. Uh, simply put, uh, that's how you convert SRT to audio in CapCut for Windows PC. Thanks for watching.